Both boys, too. There goes, so you guys can see. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through a bunch of the stuff that we did and kind of show some screenshots, and uh, I'll take questions at the end. Uh, and these guys, we, I'll be, you know, pointing people to answer your questions. Um, they sort of look like nice guys, Jeff. <laughs> Deception. Um, so we had a really good time here. Uh, I need to describe a little bit about our red team so this makes sense to you. Um, so we had physical people here, but we also had people on a VPN, um, people that I trust dearly and I, I think are very good. Um, and some of those same people, uh, the team that goes to Nationals, will be facing again. So uh, you'll see us again. Um, and I just took some outtakes from We had an IRC server that we were using for collaboration. Uh, about the good time that we were having. Um, one of our guys tried to explain to his wife while he was laughing so hard, and halfway through the explanation, she just walked away. Um, so we had a really good time. All right, next slide. All right, so these are some uh, of the IRC uh, outtakes that I've just uh, put together about some of the things that we're doing to some of the teams. Um, so in a lot of cases, a lot of cases we saw you guys looking for some help online, and uh, we were just kind of watching. Um, <laughs> and then you know, we were on your desktops. I'm sure you saw us. We helped you write some emails. Um, <laughs> and then. Uh, they ask you if you, need, if you need some help, you block them so that they've dropped your database because they think you're being very nice. <laughs> um, and then uh, we, we started having chat dialogues in, in notepads. Um, and one team was very, uh, you know, they, they, they were under attack, but they were very sure of themselves, and they told us that they would never surrender. <laughs> so, it was a lot of good time. All right, next. All right, so uh, I'm stealing some of the scoring engine guys' uh, graphics uh, just because it's a very good kind of uh, showing of what we're doing. And so you can see the, the majority of our attacks was just compromised accounts. Uh, you know, we go in, we grab hashes, we break them fairly quickly. Uh, a lot of our guys, you know, we have clusters and stuff back where we work, and we can just dump these, these password hashes there and crack them. Mm -hmm. So uh, my recommendation is change your passwords frequently and often. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And so uh, I think the majority of the top two things were just compromised accounts and malware that was previously in, inserted. So uh, next slide. Okay, and then so this is like the uh, the level of access that we had. Uh, it's primarily admin access. So we had a lot of system accounts and root accounts, uh, which didn't go away surprisingly. Um, we'll get more into that. But uh, all right, next slide. Okay, and so this is kind of like the breakdown of the machines that we were in. And so uh, we had a lot of databases, a lot of web servers. It's the first two databases, web servers. The workstations, we like those too. A um, few teams, we had all of your workstations. And I think one team was kind enough to clone one of the workstations that we had, so thank you. <laughs> all right, and so, uh, so this is a, a, one of the backdoor mechanisms that we had, and uh, this is actually uh, a, a server that uh, has a Linux agent that's phoning home to this. And this is when we first started it up, and uh, about an hour later, next slide, more connections. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so there's actually 191 of them. We couldn't show them all on one screen. So uh, a lot of phoning home. Um, so. And I was actually still getting callbacks today from most of these. I don't think most of you found this. And I think the people that stopped it actually didn't know they stopped it. They just kind of did enough egress filtering to finally stop it. So, um, next slide. All right, so, uh, like I said, we're watching you while you're doing all this stuff. So if you're going to Facebook, we're watching you go to Facebook. Um, I'm trying not to identify anyone, so I had, had to be careful with what slides I picked. Um, but this one, they weren't logged in yet, so, uh, you know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, okay, so then here we see, we see some people doing some commands, and, you know, they're trying to ping an address, and uh, I'm just kind of wondering, if you had a dot .450, how? <laughs> 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 All right, so 
You guys had these like little notepads on your desktop, right? It was fun chatting with you guys. Who is our friend with benefits? That's Paul. That's Paul. He left for the day. Oh, nice. He freaked out. It was hard. He was afraid he was going to be assaulted. Yeah, here, here's the we will never surrender. Yeah. We thought that was awesome. That was you guys. No, I wrote that. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, you guys were giving presentations to your management, but you were also giving them to us. You just didn't realize it. Oh. Yeah. So. And then you guys were writing up injects, and we were observing and you know learning new methods to compromise your machines. Oh, next slide. <laughs> so I know at least a couple teams got this. Uh, if you, if you had some help writing your, your emails, uh, we enjoyed that too. <laughs> um, this, this was probably the, the biggest amount of laughter that came out of our room. Uh, one of the teams was writing an inject to the white team, and uh, they were trying to finish it, and we typed a few extra lines in there about how the red team rules and hits send before they could do anything about it. <laughs> And this, I believe, was one of your websites, uh, and it had some nice uh, personal identifiable information right on the front page. We thought that was amusing. Nice. Next. Okay, and uh, your, your web servers, I believe uh, one of our guys found this, uh, where we could browse anything on the entire computer, including root home directory. Okay. Need to lock that down. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Trying to update. Anyone have some problems updating? Yeah, I bet you did. Next slide. Oh, it didn't load. Oh, well, the screen's out of us canceling your updates. But, uh, apparently, I can't make a PowerPoint. Next slide. Oh, there it is! Hey, I don't know what happened there. Next. Alright, I think this is just you guys going through event logs. Just, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is pretty good. Um, so, if you can't read this, it says, How can I tell if someone is remote desktopped to my PC? <laughs> we were. <laughs> this is another one, someone doing some research. Netstat. What's that all about? <laughs> Definitely need to use some nets that. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think that's all my funny slides. Uh, I'll talk for a minute about uh, our red team methodology, so you kind of know how we operated, and then I'll open it up for questions. Um, so uh, being on the red team, you know, we we all here are security professionals, and we think this is important, and so we're here to kind of you know help the competition, hopefully make this a little bit more challenging and fun for you guys. Um, it's definitely fun for us, um, but but so. Our methodology really isn't to kill you the first day, although it's kind of, I mean, we did a pretty good job. Um, but uh, so the first day, we, we really didn't take down your services. I know there were a lot of reports of us in your routers. We were never in your routers. Uh, we were in some switches, but we were never in your routers, and we didn't take your switches down. And if we did, it was today, not yesterday. Um, and so we tried yesterday to just get a foothold and maintain our access as much as possible, which is why we had those, those Linux backdoors that you saw. And there was another one for Windows. Uh, one of the guys in the VPN was running that. And so yesterday was all about getting our foothold, which we were able to do quite well. And t today was when you saw the hilarity. Um, so we defaced your website today. We brought down your boxes. Uh, if you lost access to your Linux boxes this afternoon, it's probably because I removed your master boot record and rebooted. <laughs> and then if you restored from a snapshot that wasn't from the very beginning, my stuff was still on there and it just did it again. <laughs> um, so so the, the short suite is yesterday was all about us getting access and maintaining our access and today it was about really you know having some fun with you guys. So uh, just thought I'd put that out there and uh, if you guys have questions, I'll start taking them now. 
I saw some odd things in some of the ARP tables. Did you guys do any ARP spoofing? No ARP spoofing. I had no idea what that was. Then. Yeah, uh, I was asked if we, uh, he said he saw some weird things in the ARP table, and he was asking us if we did any ARP spoofing. That might have been the Armitage pivots. Okay, yeah, so one of the things we were doing was if we got our interpreter session on your Windows boxes, because I don't think we did this many Linux boxes, uh, we would set up a pivot, and then we'd scan your network from your box that we were on, and use that to connect your other machines. So if you looked at the connections, it would look like the boxes were connecting to each other and not from us. So. In the back, I saw you first. Um, can you tell us what was on the flash drive and the Oh, yeah, the flash drive. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let Chris talk about flash drives. They worked for a day on those things, so. Okay, so did the flash drives actually work? Did anybody actually use them? <laughs> the virtual you wiped it, okay. The virtual machines did not have USB access, so that you could only reach the host machines from them. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, so that was, was that an inject? No, but on, 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 some of the, on some of our machines, at least, there was no there was no USB on the virtual machine. And so even if we looked at it, it was only on the host. So machine. we didn't know that. We originally were going to put these on at the beginning of the competition, and it didn't work. So what the idea was was that we were going to present those USB drives and give you tools to bring back your systems, because basically you guys were lacking access, shall we say, at the end of the first day. And they were supposed to help you get them back. The problem is they didn't work. Uh, so Putty... WinSCP, and I believe we had a TFTP server. Yeah, TFTP server. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that you could use to uh, fix your iOS on Cisco. And they were all bugged with Meterpreter to call back to me. <laughs> I got no callbacks. I don't know why it didn't work, but I guess it's because you didn't have USB access. And I didn't know that. So uh, that's what they were supposed to do, and it looks like it didn't work. But we know better for next time. <laughs> No, we didn't, we didn't uh, bug the, the PDF. The PDF was just, just deceit. Yeah. Okay. It was clean. Yeah. Probably the only clean thing on the, the drive. <laughs> <laughs> when did you guys drop the back door so to our system? Uh, there were some timestamps that looked like uh, they were at like 8.50 a.m. yesterday. Uh, there was a... So there, there definitely wouldn't have been anything from us at 8.50. Uh, there was a brief miscommunication, and we did do some things at 9.30, but were quickly stopped. Um, but those were scripted and across the board, so we felt like that was pretty you know, universal, so we didn't really worry about it too much. Um, but it, for the majority of everything else, we started at the exact same time that you guys did. Did you uh, describe some of the non-typical ways that you guys were trying to uh, find our information? Like, I know we suspected uh, some of your team, like, Oh, the cleaning crew last night is walking through and finding passwords on the desk. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, we uh, the cleaning crew reported that they found some some uh, usernames and passwords on one team's desk. And we did try those, and they didn't work. They were pretty hilarious passwords, so we're thinking that maybe they made those up. We saw those, we tried them. It was funny. Yeah, that's what we saw last night. Okay, so what was the any questions? All right. Do we do any man in the middle? No, we didn't man in the middle SSL certificates. We did install some of our own certificates for your, for your no, 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 for your Linux boxes. So if you saw us logging in as root on your Linux boxes and you kept changing password and couldn't figure out why, there's probably a PKI certificate that we're using for authentication instead of passwords. Did you guys, so you guys didn't do that? No. No, I don't think so. No, sir. Yeah. We just changed all the passwords on the You want to talk about that?